When my friend's head hit the basketball court, it made a loud bang. We all stopped playing and watched him slowly get to his feet. He asked me to take a look at it, and so I gently, slowly brushed the hair away. Oof, I said, yeah, we're gonna need to see a doctor. A few staples in the back of his head, and he was on the road to recovery. Later on, we were reminiscing about that day and not just about the cut, but we were talking about some mistakes he'd made, some honestly bad choices in his relationships. And the way that we talked about it reminded me of how we had dealt with his head. It was gentle and patient and we were aiming at healing. It made me wonder, why am I often not so gentle with myself? I have never split my head open playing basketball, but I have made more than my fair share of mistakes and often really big ones that cost me. The Bible calls that sin. I'm guilty of it. We all are. And so often we don't deal with our sin well. Have you ever noticed this? That sometimes we we deal with sin in a way that doesn't address the problem at all. Sometimes I try to replay the sin over and over in, in my mind, reliving my mistake as some weird form of punishing myself. Other times we like to just try to rewrite what actually happened. If only I wasn't in that position. If only uh, I never opened my mouth and said such a stupid thing. But sometimes we pretend like it didn't happen at all. Sometimes we try to sweep our sins under the rug as though there was nothing to worry about. Can you imagine if that's what I did with my friend? You would never do that with a friend. Imagine if my friend knocked his head on the floor and he's got a cut. And if I just replayed it over and over again for him, I just described for him like five times how he fell down. It wouldn't help at all. Or if I tried to rewrite it and say, well, maybe you shouldn't have just been standing at that point on the court. Worst of all would be if I just ignored it. I took a look, found his wound, and said, you've got nothing to worry about. That's not the way you help a friend deal with something, whether it's their physical injury or something that they're messed up. Instead, you gently and patiently uncover the wound so that you can find healing. That's how God deals with our sin. Psalm 103 says, as a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. Jesus knows that we are sinful, but he didn't just make us relive it over and over again. And he doesn't pretend like it's no big deal. Instead, he came to this earth and paid for our sins with his death on the cross. He guaranteed our forgiveness with his glorious resurrection from the grave on Easter. And now, just like any good father helps the little kid to learn about sin, to learn how to make good decisions with all that same gentleness and patience and persistence, our Father in heaven gently helps us deal with our sin. Your memory is probably haunted by sins that you committed long ago or not so long ago. I know my mind certainly is. Instead of beating yourself up about those things, instead of pretending like they didn't happen or they don't matter, let's do what God does. Let's deal gently and patiently with ourselves, uncovering the wound not to maximize our pain, but so that we can better appreciate the forgiveness of our gracious Father in heaven. When God deals with your sin, he does it kindly, so you can too.